Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of Where Are They Now? Today we're talking about June 2012, the favorites from back then. I printed out my description box from four years ago and I'm gonna make this one really short and sweet. Out of all the products I mentioned and even the person that I mentioned, I have some of them, I don't use any of them. So let's start from the bottom. Uh, people mentioned was Shani Banny. She doesn't make videos anymore, so that's that. Um, then let's get into the products. So the two products I actually still have and have not been using, but I've just now rediscovered them when I was looking for the stuff for the video are the L'Oreal Color Riche lipsticks. I have two, I'm wearing um, Sunset, Sunset Angora, and uh, the other shade is Rose Taffeta. These are both beautiful, creamy, wonderful lipsticks. I am glad that I do these videos so that I've rediscovered uh, two old favorites that are gonna come right back out into my uh, daily use. They're really, really nice. Next, I talked about a few lip glosses, the Jordana Lip Out Loud Super Shiny Gloss in ASAP, and there were a couple other glosses I think in there. An Easy Shine Glossy Lip in Raspberry. I don't use lip gloss really anymore. As y'all know, if I reach for anything that has lip gloss consistency, it's the Clarins Instant Lip Perfectors. Everything else, I've thrown out all of my lip glosses because they just were sitting in a drawer for literally four years without me touching them. They're gross, and I just, I don't use them. The reason I don't use them, by the way, is because I'm outside a lot, I have long hair, it sticks, ick. I don't, it's a convenience factor. Then I talked about the Urban Decay 24 seven concealer. That was a great concealer. I used it all up. This was before I did empties. And the concealers, there are several <laughs> that I reached for on a kind of rotating basis, um, are the Derma Blend concealer, the Smooth Camo concealer, and the Estee Lauder Double Wear concealer for on my face. Um, and I think that's, I can't remember if that's where I used it. Um, if it's under my eyes, I use, I rotate through a few as well. The Estee Lauder Double Wear and the Last Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer are the two favorites that I have been using a lot lately. I also talked about the e.l.f. Complexion Brush. It's a nice brush, but um, I like this better. This is part of the Coastal Scents um, Pearl Handle Brush Set, I think it's called. It comes in a little travel cup. There's, I think, 16 brushes, and this is the big fluffy brush, and I love this so much more. I love it. I use it every day for my bronzer. Um, I also talked about the Sigma Precision, Precision Tapered Brush. It was like a little pointy brush. It is stuffed in a drawer somewhere. I don't use it. If I'm gonna blend in concealer, usually I use my finger um, or a few other brushes, but I don't use that one anymore. Then we, what did, oh, the Stila Smudge Stick in Kitten. Um, I still have it. I dug it out of my eyeliner drawer. It is dry as a bone, like it hurts. It feels like sandpaper. Um, so there's that. If I were to want to replicate using this, what I would recommend is the um, L'Oreal Infallible Shadow Sticks. This one, it's an eye crayon. The shade Enduring Rose is a beautiful shade and very similar. Um, Maybelline Color Tattoo makes eye crayons that are probably, you'll get a similar effect. And I never wear these by themselves. I always layer a shadow over, but um, yeah, this one's gonna have to go in the trash. It's kind of sad. It's a beautiful color, but all gone. Next on my favorites list from 2012 was the Bobbi Brown Corrector. And now what I use under my eyes to correct under eye um, darkness is the MAC Prep and Prime um, highlighting pen in Radiant Rose. It's a similar concept, but the Bobbi Brown Corrector on my skin now is much too thick for more, let's just say, mature, older skin. If you're, you know, if you don't have any fine lines under your eyes, it's still great. But for me, I find that the MAC Prep and Prime works much better. And another thing that I have but I don't use, and this makes me sad, this was one of my very, well, I have very few Chanel makeup items, and this was the Chanel, oh, I'm gonna ruin this, Illusion d'Ombre in number 82, Emmerv, I think, but Emmerville, if you're an American, butchering French, and it's the most beautiful peachy pink shimmer shade, and I don't know if you can see the big old crap, watch this. Yeah, it just fell out. See, it dried up, it shriveled. It's so beautiful, and there's still, ooh, now that I flipped it over, there's still a little pigment on there. I might try to revive this, but um, 
that's the problem with these Chanel um, Illusion d'Ambre shadows is they dry up and if someone could recommend a way to bring these back to life please let me know because I have never found anything quite the same um, to dupe this so not worth the price since they dry up so quickly but such a beautiful product and then the last thing I talked about was what was it oh yes lash primer I was using the MAC prep and prime lash to prime my lashes before mascara and it is a great lash primer I really like it but I used it up and as you do when you make beauty videos on YouTube, I found other products. So what I have been reaching for is the um, Lancome eyelash primer. It has a much fancier name. I don't have the exact name, but I'll list it in the description box. And I really like this. I tried a drugstore version. I tried the Wet n Wild Photo Focus um, mascara primer, but it didn't really work the way I wanted it for me. To be fair, if you're using a really good mascara, you don't need the primer. Um, for me, I was using it to have inferior shadows work better so that they didn't smudge and they didn't flake. But if you're using a good mascara, you know, hopefully you won't need the primer. So there is that. Another product that I actually still have, but I don't reach for, so I don't think it's fair to include, is the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana. Um, it's sort of like, they, it's listed as a bronzer, but in reality, it's a really good dupe for the Kevin Aquan Celestial Powder and Candlelight. It's a very soft, um, barely there highlight. I think it's a little too much to do all over the face. It would also be good for setting under your eyes. I don't really reach for it because right now I'm into the really um, mega wattage um, highlighter, so I don't reach for any kind of subtle highlighter. And to set my under eye makeup, um, my under eye, yeah, my under eye makeup, I use the Guerlain Meteorites. So lately I've been using a really bright, kind of on fleek, as you say, highlighter like the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors or the Rodeal Instaglam. So I'm not reaching for my Kevin Aquan or my Wet n Wild Reserve Cabana, but I keep it in reserve so that if I change my mind or trends change, I have it because I think it's a great powder and I do recommend it. I apologize if I've seemed a little distracted and more flighty than usual. There's a huge storm going on on the other side of this camera, which is why it is so dark behind me. That's what it looks like behind me with no lights on. It is like nighttime in here. So there's like lightning and all kinds of stuff going on on the other side of that camera. It's a little bit distracting. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick look back at my favorites from June 2012. As always, if you make YouTube videos, please think about doing this on your channel. I would love to see your favorites revisited. Um, bug your other favorite YouTubers to have them do this. And let me know if there's anything you were using back in 2012 that you still like in 2016. Again, everything is listed in the description box. There's a link to the original video if you wanna have a little laugh. And if you saw the original June 2012 video, say hi. Let me know if you're still around. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Today, I tried something different. I have never done a full matte eye look. I did it. I did compensate by using a few more luminous products on the face.